Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The Honorable Judges of Speech Contest by Torik Bin Ziyad and all of the audiences, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin, wa bihi nasta'in wa ala umurid dunia wa din, wa salatu wa salamu ala asrafil anbiya wal mursalin, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in, amma ba'ad. First of all, I would like to say thank you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given us some mercies and blessings so that we can attend this special occasion without any troubles and obstacles. Secondly, salawat and salam may always be given to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who has guided us from the darkness to the lightness, from the dark ages of Zahiliyah to the cleverness, namely Islamic religion. Ladies and gentlemen, in this happy and blessed moment, I would like to share my perspective about heroes, the great leaders. Before that, I would like to ask all of you first, do you know Dr. Strange or Superman? Yes, Superman. Or Spider-Man. Everybody know them as the superheroes, right? But they are not real. But have you ever heard of General Sudirman? Or Imam Bonjol? Who are they actually? Yeah, you're right. They are the heroes of Indonesia. But have you ever heard of Umar bin Khattab? Muhammad Al-Fatih or Tariq bin Ziyad. Do you know them well? Yes, you're right. They are the Islamic heroes. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, what comes to your mind when you hear their name? When we, when we read, when we learn Islamic history, we know that they are very amazing heroes and leaders. For example, first one is Umar bin Khattab. Umar bin Khattab was the second Khalifah after Abu Bakr Ash-Shiddiq. Umar, who was previously the leader of Quraysh Kafirs, who always hindered and disturbed the Prophet Muhammad in spreading Islam, finally, with Hidayatullah, Umar converted to Islam. <coughs> Umar has a nickname given by the Prophet Muhammad, namely al Farooq, which means a person that can separate between the good and bad, the true and the falsehood. As a great leader, Umar has an attitude that must be emulated. First one is bravery. Umar is a very brave figure. He dared to uphold the truth that he believed in. When he became the companion of Muhammad, Islamic teaching and da'wah became open, no more secretly, it even became overly. Second, is fair. Umar was fair in carrying out government duties. Even though he's a leader, he's still fair to his family and his people. If his family are guilty, he still punishes them as if his people are guilty. Third, is can distinguish between the true and the false, the good and the bad. Umar is a great leader that can differentiate the believers and kafirs. Distinguishing the true and the falsehood. <coughs> Second person is Muhammad Al-Fatih. Muhammad Al-Fatih was an intelligent young man who has, the willpower to, who has the willpower to reach his goals. <coughs> Especially in conquering Constantinople as the word from the Prophet Muhammad since he was 12 years old. The success of Muhammad Al-Fatih in conquering Constantinople was not a coincidence. Muhammad Al-Fatih was strengthening the Ottoman military power by selecting, selecting and choosing the troops even since they were little. Muhammad Al-Fatih, in realizing its goals and ideals of Islam, not only just physical strength, but the closeness to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. The third figure is Tariq bin Ziyad, the Spanish conqueror. Tariq was a general, was a general from the Umayyah who led the Muslim conquer against the Andalusian region. After a speech by all of his men, the Tariq army invaded the Andalusian region in the summer and succeeded get a victory over the Visigoth kingdom, where, where the kingdom was led by a King Roderick. Wow, so amazing and real heroes, right? Who want to be like them? 
I hope we all here can follow follow their ways to be Islam, Islamic heroes. Let's wake up, be agent of change. What we can do first, we should study hard. <coughs> we should study hard in order to increase our good, our quality in education life. Because the progressive school and country are depend on us, the good quality of us will make our country become forward. Not just good quality and education, but also we must have a good attitude to our teacher, parents, and all of their friends. We, as a Muslim, we, as a young Muslim generation, let's keep doing our best. Let's improve. Let's show to the world that Muslim students can compete with others. <coughs> Be a good young Muslim generation. Absolutely, it will make our nation's future brighter. Let's be a hero for ourselves, our family, our country, and our religion, Islam. I think that's all for my speech. Thank you. Thank you for your kind attention. Sorry for my mistakes. We are a young Muslim generation. Keep doing the best and always be success. Goodbye and see you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa id qala rabbuka lil malaikati inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.